In other news tonight, JT Barber Elementary School will remain a K through five school. It's a decision that was made final at a specially called board meeting that happened tonight. And this comes after weeks of discussion to repurpose the school. News Channel 12's Deja Mayfield was at that meeting and she's joining us now live with the very latest on what happened tonight. Deja. Yeah, Frank, it's a decision many people are happy about too. At tonight's meeting, in fact, over 30 people signed up to speak during the public comment portion. Each and every person that spoke spoke in favor of keeping JT Barber the way that it is. Now, because of a lack of pre-K classes in the county, officials had been considering making JT Barber a pre-K only school. Now, the county says at least 200 pre-K students are waitlisted every year, but the board wanted to hear from the community before making any decisions. Tonight's meeting was all about feedback from the public on what they wanted to see happen with the school going forward. Before the public comment portion even began, Superintendent Dr. Wendy Miller recommended to keep the school as a kindergarten through fifth grade middle school. Members of the community that spoke tonight cited the cultural significance of the school and said that going forward, they want to see more resources. In 2006, the school was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And before desegregation, JT Barber was the only school for black students up until 1964. After hours of public comment, the board spent time discussing the options before voting unanimously to keep the school as it is. Here, take a listen. So the Jennifer Yes. yes. Over the past few years, the county says the school has been consistently low performing and struggling with staff retention. Because of that, the school has been operating under the county's restart model. This instructional plan is designed to improve student achievement results, and it's a model the school will continue using going forward. A lot of emotion here at JT Barber Elementary School tonight, but it seemed to be good emotion. Even board member Lauren, uh, Lauren Kitzinger says this is what community looks like. But now that the fate is sealed for JT Barber going forward, we'll wait to see how the county tackles the preschool shortage here in Craven County. We'll continue to follow that and bring you the latest here on News Channel 12. In Craven County, I'm Deja Mayfield for News Channel 12.